What's going on people? We are Tottenham TV here, back here for another predicted lineup. It is our second game in the Europa League. If we win this game, it is one more and then we're in the Europa Finally, League. Finally, yeah, it's been a Group bloody slog. stages. It has been a slog. Um, it was a very dangerous game out in Plovdiv last week. Are you expecting similar tomorrow? Probably. Yeah, look, as a, again, like Plovdiv, this is their cup final. This is they're going to give absolute, absolute everything for this game. So it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy for us. We just got to make sure, unlike in Plovdiv in the first half, we just got to take our chances and make sure we we go into half time in the lead or going to the late, latter of the game in the lead and not have a scare like we did out in Plovdiv. Because yeah. we nearly went out, in all honesty, we did. We nearly went out, and it could have been scary if we didn't get that penalty near the end of the game. Yeah. So, I mean, the two sending offs helped as well. Yeah, that helped big time. But I think um, once we got the equaliser, it was a bit more settled. But I think we just got to get that early goal, get that first goal, and it'll be a lot, much easier task. All right, so we're playing Shkendia of North Macedonia. Shkendia. Yeah, nice. I'm sure that's the right pronunciation. Who knows? Any Macedonians in the comments, let me know if I've pronounced that right. But. Um, that's the way it looks like it's pronounced anyway. Um, it's our last away game because obviously if we win this game, we got a home tie for the last qualifying nice. group. It, that could be Maccabi High for a nice little uh, yeah. little derby. Yeah, nice. <laughs> <laughs> but look, let's get into the predicted lineup. We're going to go four-two-three-one again. Um, Hugo in goal, obviously. Yeah. Uh, any chance for Hart to play this one? No, because I think it's too important. I think look, he, we, we, we really need this rope league spot. We can't afford to be resting too many players. So I think he's going to go full strength and get full strength again. He's shown in the previous round that he's not going to be resting too many players. So I think Lloris, if Hull would have played Tuesday, I believe, but I think he Lloris plays. All right, so Hugo in goal, right back. Now, we haven't seen Serge Aurier all season yet. You think he gets a shout or we're going to stick with Matt Doherty? Well, he was on the bench on Sunday, Serge, but I think Doherty again. I mean, he's, there's a reason he's playing him every game, Doherty. Clearly, he rates him higher for the time being. So I think, again, we're going to see um, Doherty play on the, on the right. And may, maybe we'll see Serge on Sunday, but I think right for now, Doherty will play. And centre-backs. Obviously, Sanchez played the last two games. Dyer has been ever-present so far. Toby has not played the last, last couple game. of games. Probably think it's going to be Toby and Dyer. Yeah, I think so. That, that's that's where I I think the, that we're at. I think Sanchez made a couple of mistakes as well. Our one down Plovdiv, and he didn't have the best game on Sunday either. But I think yeah, to he said Toby would have played on Tuesday, so I think he would have, he's going to play today. And then on the left hand side, oh sorry Thursday, not today. <laughs> in the left hand side, Rahulion doesn't look like he's going to play after Jose said that he will be involved later on this week. Maybe. No, he's, he's ineligible, so he can't play. It's not about right. look like. Yeah. So uh, yeah, so Rahulion's ineligible. So Ben Davis slots straight back into left Has back. Has to be no other choice. Maybe we'll see Rahulion on on uh, Sunday. But hopefully, hopefully, yeah, because I'm excited to see him put, put on Spurs show. We're going to see him definitely before we see Bale. But yeah, Davis definitely going to play on on Thursday. Double pivot. Uh, this one looks a bit. I don't know. I mean, Hoiberg's going to play. You think definitely? I think he. I think he's played every game so far. I think he's the one he really trusts in that centre to really anchor things. So I think he's going to play. Yeah, he'll play in the centre. And then alongside, we've gone for Harry Winks. Um, a midfield that doesn't really fill you with much confidence, to be honest. I don't like the look of them two together in the midfield, especially I'd, in a double pivot. Yeah, I'd rather someone like Lacelso and Dombele next to him, but I've just Winks was in the press conference, so I've got a feeling he's going to play him again. And they both started on Sunday together. It wasn't the best, especially in the first half. But it should be enough against uh, what were they called? Shkendia. Shkendia. <laughs> look, come on. If they're if they're not good enough to beat Shkendia, then what, what, how good are these players? Yeah, I mean. But it's just it just doesn't fill you with too much confidence. I'd love to see a more attacking player in that centre midfield role, maybe an Undombele or a Lacelso. Maybe we will, maybe we're wrong, but look for for me, I think that's how it looks like at the moment. To be fair, I think it's gonna be Winks and Lacelso or Winks and Undombele. I I reckon Hoiberg might be given a rest this game, but we're gonna go with Winks and Hoiberg for now. Um left hand side of the attack, Hyun Min Son. Who he else? Again. Yep. Um and then in the number ten in the centre spot in that attack. Just behind the striker, we're going to go for Delhi to be reintroduced to the side. So Mourinho had some very interesting things to say about Delhi Ali. He said that um, he was asked, obviously, if he believes he's going to be at Tottenham uh, before the end, of, after the end of the transfer window, and he said he's convinced that Delhi will be a Tottenham player by the end of the transfer window. And he said he's going to get a chance to play on Thursday. He didn't confirm whether he will play from the start or from the bench. He said he's been working very hard in training. Um, he's been putting in a lot of hard work. And he's got no problem with Delhi, but he just said 
when he's not when you're not performing on the pitch, it's only natural you get left out, and that's the natural case with Deli Ali at the moment. It's true he's not performing on the pitch. You got to say that. And he was talking about how with Delhi has been he's had a lot of ups and downs over the last mm. year or a couple years. And he says ever since he took over, it's been exactly the same. He had some ups and he's had some downs. He's had a lack of consistency in his performances. And he said at this level, you need to be conform- performing consistently because of all the top players we have in the squad. And I think he's going to get a chance on Thursday, I think. But um, I think he's absolutely right, Jose, in what he's saying about Delhi. I don't think he's saying anything controversial at all. No. Delhi has been completely inconsistent for a while now, so he has to add that consistency to his game if he wants to be nailed on starter. At the end of the day, it's an, it's about time someone's called out Delhi on his inconsistencies as well, because all the Spurs fan base, I don't know, the last two years, a lot of polarized or not polarized, but kind of different um, opinions on Delhi Ali. A lot of fans, you know, still thinking of him as that twenty goal, eighteen goal a season man from from three, four years ago. And a lot of fans thinking that, you know, he's too inconsistent, doesn't put in enough performances, but he still seemed to be getting minutes after minutes after minutes after minutes for Tottenham. And it's and it's about time we've had a manager who can really sort this out because we all know what Delhi can bring, but he just needs to bring it consistently like he used to. And uh, yeah, just just wanted to make that point. Yeah, I agree um, with that. Completely agree. And on the right-hand side, it's a toss-up between Bergvine, Lucas Moura, Lamella, potentially. I got I got a feeling Lamella could potentially play in that centre role instead of Delhi. Um, but we've gone for Delhi anyway. But on the right-hand side, we're going to go for Steven Bergvine. Yeah, he started in Europa League last week. And I know he got taken off early, but I think he was going to get another chance this week, Stevie. Uh, he has to take it. He, has to, he, was, I know, he wasn't terrible last Thursday. He did hit the bar. He nearly scored, but he did get taken off fairly early as well. Great. It wasn't great either. But um, yeah, see, I think he'll get another opportunity here. So Bergwijn on the right, and then up front, obviously Harry Kane. Um, let yeah, me just Mourinho confirmed pretty much he's going to be playing last game, this, game, next this game, the game after. Yeah, so. know, every single game, Harry Kane and until he'll... we buy a bloody striker, and there'll be another Harry Kane giveaway. <laughs> yeah, be on guard for that. Exactly. Uh, but let me run through that lineup with you one more time. So that's Hugo in goal, Doherty right back, Davis left back with a double of Toby and Dyer at centre back with Hoiberg or Winks in the double pivot with Son, Delhi. Bergwijn just behind Harry Kane. It's worth noting, like we mentioned before, Rechelon is ineligible for this game. Gareth Bell is not fit and not ready. And Japit Tanganga is still a doubt, but he's on his way back and he, he was training. Yeah, he's back in training, so maybe he'll feature, but I, you know, I think it'll be unlikely. Maybe he'll come too soon. But yeah, look, we have to beat these lot. We have to. I don't care who we put out. There's no excuses here. Win. We have to get a win. We have to get through to the next round. And we'll have a good chance of being in the Europa League group stages. It's been a bit of a tough slog um, playing all these matches early doors. We got a kind of bit of a blessing with the late Norian game being called off. So that'll probably help us in our preparations for this game. But um, yeah, no excuses. We've got to turn up and get the win. Score prediction? 2-0. Two 2-0? Nil. Two nil? I mean, these games are always tighter than um, than the kind of titles of the team suggest. They always are. Especially when you're playing away from home. Um, I, I, I really hope we don't concede. I mean, if we don't concede, you you expect us to go through. But yeah, I think I'm going to go for 3-0. I think 3-0. if we get an early goal, we can really put these guys to bed early. Just get the early goal. Just no um, sloppy finishing like last game in Plovdiv. No, like, no wasting chances. If Son brings in his form, his finishing form from the Southampton game, then we should comfortably win this one. Should do. We'll have to wait and see. Yeah. Well, anyway, that is our predictions. I'm going 3-0. My brother's going 2-0. Let me know your score predictions in the comment section below. Let me know your predicted lineup in the comment section below. Like, subscribe, and comment. And as always, come on, you Spurs. Spurs.